Production of sands at Denver Mint exceeded 1 billion pieces for the first time, as this facility made up for the end of coining. At San Francisco, extremely common in all grades through MS66 rate, only at next increment, hundreds of perverse dyes were required for such large production, and more than a dozen repunched diverite are known, some of them quite spectacular. The 1956 delinquent sand is common in MS66 condition or lower. In MS60, plus, it's much more difficult to find. In MS67 condition, it's scarce, but enough examples have been found to keep prices affordable for most serious delinquent sand collectors. MS 67 plus examples or higher are almost unheard of. This MS67 plus graded superb gem was sold for $18,000 at 30 auctions. When collecting 1956 delinquent sand, one should look for coins with strong strikes and minimal contact marks. A key variety to search for is D over D mint mark, where the punch mint mark shows a secondary D under or to the side of the primary mint mark. As you continue to build your collection, always check your 1956D cents carefully for these varieties and errors, and they can turn a common coin into valuable treasures. If, if you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more insights on rare and valuable coins. Thanks for watching, and God's willing, see you in the next episode.